Today in this video, we are going to demonstrate how to wirelessly transfer files between a Samsung smartphone and a Windows PC by using Samsung Flow. First of all, install Samsung Flow in your Windows PC from the Microsoft App Store. And also install Samsung Flow app in your Samsung smartphone from the Google Play Store. Now after installing, open Samsung Flow in your Samsung smartphone and your Windows PC as well. Your Samsung smartphone and your PC can be connected either by Bluetooth or Wi-Fi. In our case, we are using Bluetooth. For connecting through Wi-Fi, both the smartphone and the PC has to be connected on the same Wi-Fi network. After selecting the method of pairing in your PC, press OK in your Samsung smartphone. Wait for a few seconds to connect. After connecting, provide the necessary permission in your Samsung smartphone. Now your smartphone is ready to transfer files between your PC. For transferring image from your smartphone to your PC, click the plus icon at the lower left corner and select image and now in the gallery, select the necessary images and click done. Provide the permissions if asked. That's it, the image is now transferred. You can also transfer any video, music, files, contacts or any Samsung notes from your Samsung smartphone to your PC. The files can be transferred even more faster using Wi-Fi Direct. In the same way you can transfer images, files, videos from your PC to a smartphone as well. Let's see what else is there in the Samsung Flow app. Under the Manage Device tab, you can rename your smartphone or disk register from your PC. And there are some additional features. Under the settings, you can locate the folders at which the files are received. You can customize the notifications based on your preference. If you are using Wi-Fi for pairing your smartphone and your PC, you can turn off the auto Bluetooth setting. Let's see what else is there in the Samsung Flow PC app by selecting the Smart View option. 
you can mirror your smartphone and you can control your smartphone from the PC itself. As you can see, it's quite laggy as well. You can rotate the smartphone screen. You can control your smartphone in full screen. You can turn off your smartphone screen and you can turn on as well. You can take a screenshot and also you can change the resolution at which the screen is casted. <laughs> 